Luke, on the face of it, that seems like a very big win. Well, I think um, because we lost, it's bigger. Um, because Swindon are so good in a good position, it's bigger. So yeah, it was a, it felt like a, a big game for such an early stage of the season, and uh, it was played like a big game, I think as well. With the defeats last year, you seem to bounce back every time. What was the secret of doing it today? The players. There's no secret. It's just the truth is that they have uh, really good people in the changing room, and they have they have really good mentality that they don't become victims. And um, and then of course they have quality as well. You can't win without quality. But the big the big secret is that they have the they have the right minerals as people. Made a slight change at the back with Richard and Aidan switching over tonight? I was happy with both guys. Um, Aidan has more experience in the middle, Bryn's a little bit more experience on the right. I think Richard Brindley has been sensational. I think in the middle of the pitch, he stepped into that role without too much rehearsal. We tried to give him the practice in, in training, but it's not the same as the games. And, and he was, I just thought he was uh, superb in there. And then he played back on the right, no problem and then come back into the middle again in the, at the death. And he's such a good player. And I, I, think, I think he's gone to a different level this season. We talked on Saturday about the first goal and the importance of the first goal. Obviously tonight you got it, so everything was in your favour from that stage onwards. And it, it, it seemed like Swindon suddenly became the nervous Erestroon side. Well, yeah, I think that we, um, you know, we, we put a lot of pressure on them and then we made the breakthrough, of course. and. Uh, I think we had such good energy and uh, we were so so uh, aggressive defensively that we 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 gave them a bad feeling and uh, and that feeling was the opposite for us was so positive and we we'd done a lot of damage in the first half. Been wondering all season when you're going to get a penalty and who's going to take it but the answer was revealed tonight. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I wasn't sure myself um, because uh, they didn't they didn't. Uh, the, the the players didn't exactly decide like completely who was going to take, but I think if if I'm on the pitch with Macker and he says he fancies it, I don't think I'm going to argue with him. And uh, of course, he dispatched it as you'd expect him to. Because David was there as well, wasn't he? Yeah, David was there. You know, so I wouldn't want to be, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to really be the guy that's arguing with with either of those two. But uh, that just shows again the the quality of the people on the on the pitch. It's Langstaff's. 50th goal for Notts County. Ironically, it's the first from the penalty spot, the other 49 obviously from, from open play. Just just tell us in a few words, just how special is he? He is very special and we, we have to enjoy the time that we, we get to see him on the pitch and hopefully uh, for a long time to come. But of course, you, you, you never know, but let's savour having Macker on the pitch and enjoy enjoy what he brings to us. We're starting to, to see and enjoy the work of Dan Crowley. The biggest surprise of the night was that he missed a really good opportunity, but that was all forgotten quickly. Yeah, I give him some stick uh, for missing. Um, he didn't like that too much. And I, I, thought, I thought that he's that good in the air these days. I thought he was going to head the one that he scored, but he decided to volley it. So uh, Dan, Dan's, been, Dan's been outstanding, I think, for us. And uh, again, uh, the right guy, the right person. He, the way he handles himself every day and the way he is with all the other players. Brilliant. I think that's the best ovation I've heard at Meadow Lane at half-time for a long time. Yeah, and that, I, I always get nervous with, with that because we know that the, the job is only half done. Um, but we gave a lot of people a lot of pleasure, I think, for the Knots fans. So they, they, the players deserved that, that, that ovation. Second half... When it got to three one so quickly, we just wondered, here we go again. Is it going to be another basketball game? In your words, you don't like basketball games. No, I, I really didn't like the the second half because of how good Swindon were, and that they're 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 a, they're a joy to watch, aren't they? They're a brilliant team, and uh, uh, the manager's done what he always does: and galvanise a group and make them a force. That's he's a he's a, a master at that, to be honest. And and I thought that Swindon were absolutely top draw. In the second half, I think they would have been if we'd allowed them to in the first half. But I thought we were absolutely at it in the first half, and then, yeah, the second the second half was very uncomfortable for us. But we we know that if we want to be successful and we want people to take us seriously, we can't just be nice, pleasing on the eye, and everyone is happy when it's going well. We need to be tough as well, and they they always show that that tough side. The, the boys and uh, Swindon certainly brought that tough side out of us. Just. 
one last one. Your boys continue to rewrite the record books. First time since 1960 that Notts have won their first five at home in the league. Yeah, that's nice. And and I don't think anyone can deny that group of players in there what that what they've they've done. And uh, I hope that they can continue to to break records for the for the club because I think they I think they are becoming a special group. I think that's fair to say. And we've we've got a long way to go to be taken seriously at this level. We. Honestly, I still find an athlete. I, I believe that. I think we're we're still learning about the oppositions. Uh, so so many good teams, different styles, really great managers that make my job very very difficult. So we're still a work in progress. But I would love them to to go on and recognise their potential.